the Bugville Critters. Visit Garden Box Farms by Robert Stanek. Illustrated by Robert Stanek and the Regent Press Storybook Artists. Buzz on in to Bugville and meet the Bugville Critters. Bugville is home to bees, ladybugs, caterpillars, butterflies, beetles, and the occasional earthworm. It's where you'll meet Buster Bee and all his friends. Robert Stanek is the highly acclaimed author of more than 50 books for young people and adults, including Journey Beyond the Beyond and The Kingdoms and the Elves of the Reaches. Robert Stanek's Bugville Critters stories address all the major issues of growing up and are designed to appeal to the ever-growing interests of children three to eight years old. These refreshing stories combine facts about our natural world with fictional stories that instruct and entertain. Discover the world of Robert Stanek's Bugville Critters today. Hi, I'm Buster B. Yesterday, Sarah Silkworm slept over at my house. Today, Sarah and I are going to Garden Box Farms with Dad. I sure hope my friend Earthworm Tim is there. Tim lives in Mushroom House, next to Garden Box Farms. Tim's dad is a dirt farmer. A regular tiller of the soil. Tim's dad always says that someday he's going to own his own farm. But for now, though, he's just a farm hand. Working for the old sodbuster herself. Ladybug. Ladybug's daughter. Lass is one of my good friends. Lass is the same age as me and Barry Beetle. Ladybug is married to the mayor of Bugville. Ball Weevil. Oh, I know what you're thinking. How could a bug like Lady marry a weevil like Ball? Well, that's just the way it is. Sometimes in Bugville. Garden box farms are just outside Bugville. Where I live. It's not that far by wing. But today. We're taking Yellow Beetle. Because Sarah can't fly. Dad says. Buster. It's all right that Sarah can't fly. Not all bugs can fly, you know. I say, I know, Dad, I know. I don't tell him that I think taking a beetle is as much fun as flying solo. <laughs> My friend, Barry Beetle, is always telling me that when he grows up, he's going to work for Yellow Beetle too. Sometimes, I don't really think he has a choice, since it's his dad's company. While riding on the Beetle, Dad makes sure Sarah and I wear our safety belts. Dad says safety belts are important in case we get in an accident. I had an accident once 
But I guess it's not the kind of accident Dad is talking about. Sarah grabs my hand as we take off. I guess this is her first time flying Yellow Beetle. I say, It's okay, Sarah. Then I show her how small Bugville looks from way up high. I say, why? From way up here, all the buildings in Bugville almost look like sticks and twigs. Don't you think? Before I know it, garden box farms are coming into view. Then, a moment later, we're climbing off the back of the beetle. And I am telling Sarah, Oh, I hope Earthworm Tim is here today. Did I tell you that Sarah and I are doing a school project on agriculture? Agriculture is a big word for farming. At least, that's what my teacher Mrs. Beeswax says. Tim's dad comes out to greet us. As Tim's dad and my dad talk, I finally see Tim. I say, Hi, Tim. I'm so glad you're at the farm today with your dad. The farm is such an interesting place to visit. There's so much to see and do. After introducing Sarah to Tim, I say to Tim, We are doing our school project on farming. Will you show us around the farm? Tim is happy to show us around the farm. He explains that Garden Box Farms grow organic fruits and vegetables. Organic means they don't use any chemicals. Tim says, My family helps take care of the plants and picks the vegetables when they're ripe. Tim shows us how he helps to add air to the soil as he mixes it. This helps the plants grow. Big and strong. Sarah tries too and does really well. Tim says, You're a regular tiller of the soil. She's a natural at tilling since she has a tail. Me, I'm not really. I tried to mix the soil, too, but I guess my tail just isn't as good as Tim or Sarah's. Ha! Huh. Tim's dad invites us for lunch. Dad says, We can stay to eat, but then we have to go back to Bogville. Sarah is writing down notes about our morning at the farm. I'm going to draw pictures later so Sarah and I can give our project report to Mrs. Beeswax. I sure had a good time at Garden Box Farms. Sarah did too. We're going to take a load of vegetables back to Bugville with us. I can't wait to share with the class. As we climb onto the back of the beetle to return to Bugville, Earthworm Tim says, Goodbye, Buster. Goodbye, Sarah. Thank you for visiting. Earthworm Tim's dad adds, Yes. 
Thank you for visiting. On the flight back to Bugville, Sarah's kind of sleepy. So she takes a nap. I almost took a nap too. But then I got to thinking about vacation. I hope you'll join me next time when my family and I go on vacation to Long Lake. I sure hope I see Dag there. Dag lives at Pier One on Long Lake, and he's always doing something fun. The end. Thank you for listening. Bye.